everyone in Prescott. My name is Becky Bowers Green, and this is my husband Steve Green, and we are the St. Tim's NFP reps down here in Mesa. And uh, we want to thank you for giving us an opportunity to talk to you a little bit about natural family planning. We're both come from a youth ministry background, work with Life Team. Um, I taught theology at Notre Dame Prep in Scottsdale for three years. I still teach uh, philosophy classes for young people at MCC down here in Mesa. The bishop's view of the importance of natural family planning, like we said before, is that it's literally at the heart of all faith formation for our diocese. It's an education on what it means to love as God intends. And so if you, if you look at it in that context, it's not just that you guys, teens, are the future of the church. You are the near future of the church. Your time is here. Your relationships and the way that you love and live your faith is going to change the Diocese of Phoenix from within. And so the bishop cares immensely about what you guys know and understand about NFP and Catholic Church's teaching on how to love theology of the body from Pope John Paul II. So by all means, this is an invitation to teens everywhere. Look into it, study it, go to nights, attend Life Teen, do whatever you can to get more information because your time is coming. You're the leaders and you're the leaders soon. It's actually Natural Family Planning Awareness Week and um, we've just gotten done talking at our masses this weekend about Natural Family Planning Awareness Week and why we have an Awareness Week for Natural Family Planning because we don't have Awareness Weeks for other things like how to genuflect properly or memorize your act of contrition. So why something like this for this hoop that Catholics have to jump through? Unless, of course, it's not actually a hoop that Catholics have to jump through. And certainly that's not the way Bishop Olmsted sees it. You know, uh, the bishop is really focused on marriage and family life as being central to the mission of the church in Phoenix. And focused on natural family planning is really at the heart of not just marriage preparation, but also faith formation, diocese-wide. It's a huge deal to him. He's going to be marching out this whole expanded marriage prep policy in a week. Uh, and NFP has this expanded role where couples beginning in 2010 that are getting married in the church in Phoenix will have to take not just the introductory class, but the full NFP course. And it seems like a hoop, wow, we have to do another Catholic thing. It's really not. It flows out of the teaching of Pope John Paul II and his theology of the body, which is all about relationship and God's intention for how we're meant to love one another. Right, and you know, I actually am um, a convert in terms of coming to the Catholic Church and prior to becoming Catholic. She used to be a pagan. <laughs> <laughs> I was a proud agnostic feminist, though, and I actually thought the church's teaching against contraception was um, a hoop and an oppressive and intrusive one at that. And it was in learning about natural family planning, learning about the church's teaching against contraception, the why, not just the what, and the overall um, essence of, of what it all stands for when it comes to talking about um, men and women as persons and um, the love that they share as married persons. I really came to understand that it's not contraception that's actually empowering and liberating for women, it's natural family planning because it celebrates our womanhood and it celebrates fertility the way God designed it and intended it. And you really find out that it's effective, as effective if not more than the contraceptives that are out there. And it's aligning with God's intention for your body, it works. For, for me, I'm the cradle Catholic. Um, and so when we went through our marriage prep, we did it at St. Thomas the Apostle. Father Jack Spaulding was our pastor. He required us to take the full NFP course, uh, which was great because even though I had been raised Catholic, I really didn't know why the church taught what it did on NFP. In that course, I really began to appreciate the beauty and the wisdom of the church's teaching on natural family planning. But in addition to that, I really began for the first time to see the beauty of femininity as God intended it, the complexity of a woman, and the female reproductive cycle. And so I was not only learning to appreciate my faith more, but also appreciate my wife more. Uh, and so for guys, the great thing about NFP is it forces you to communicate with your wife about all this stuff or fiance. And then it was no surprise to find that the divorce rate, which in the general population is 50 plus percent for NFP couples is less than 4%. Some studies even think it may be less than 2%. So because it was information and knowledge that was really um, kind of the turning force for us in coming to embrace natural family planning and the church's teaching, we are actually holding an inquiry night on natural family planning um, down here in Mesa, Arizona at St. Tim's on July 23rd, which is this coming Thursday, if you see it by then, um, at about 8 o'clock. I know that's a bit of a drive for you, but we really love to see any interested parties. And this is not just 
for engaged couples. This is for couples who are already married and maybe want to learn a little bit more about aligning more with the church's teaching. And it's for single people who haven't even met that person out there. It's for teenagers because, as you say, it's there. The, they are the near and dear future of our Catholic uh, of our Catholic community. So we actually put together a, a top ten list in case you need an incentive. Yeah. To show up, especially with something, since you're making a drive, <laughs> right, or, or some future NFP event in Prescott. Yeah. Um, so here's the here's the top ten reasons to attend an NFP information night. Number ten, because despite your fervent prayers, NFP is not going away. Well. Oh, um, you'll number nine. You'll actually get a sneak preview of the new Diocese of Phoenix Natural Family Planning video, um, which is just sweeping the internet, taking it by storm with almost 347 views on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, number eight, the pharmaceutical industry invented the pill, but God invented the female reproductive cycle. So wouldn't you want to hear both sides of that story? Number seven, because if we get more than 12 people at our particular inquiry night, but at any inquiry night that we hold, we'll get a pink Cadillac. Number six, because when we go door to door with brownies inviting people to next year's inquiry class, we want you to be able to say, hey, I've already been to one. Want to see my NFP charts? Okay, ladies at parties, number five. You'll be able to throw out the phrase confidently, I've just met the symptothermal rule, three high temperatures, and now I'm in my luteal phase. Number four, because if you're anything like my lovely wife here, you're already a recycling, energy-efficient, tree-hugging, reusable shopping bag-toting hippie, so you might as well just go natural all the way. Number three, God wants you to be there, and don't you think this would look good on your resume on Judgment Day? Number two, for the guys, there will be cookies. And number one, because the marriage, current or future one, is left. So remember, Inquiry Night's open to anybody, and especially for teens. We want to invite you. So God bless. We love you guys. Thank you. We're keeping our prayers. Yeah, absolutely. Hope to see you. <laughs>